Okay, today is October 12th, 2010, and it is also my relaxer day. Um, I don't know what's going on with my hair right here. Yeah. Something weird. Okay, it is so hot outside, and yes, I said it's October, so if I just bust out in a full-on sweat, sorry. So, um, anyways, I did my relaxer today, and I was 11 weeks and two days post. So, yeah, um, a little underwhelmed with um, the result as far as the length. Um, I don't know. I just don't think it was as drastic from last time to this time as it has been on previous relaxers, and maybe I need to just get over that, um, but... Um, yeah, uh, it was extremely hard to perm when I was parting it. It was like, I was having to like, when I was trying to part it, I was just, it sounded like it was ripping and that's really scary. I, I was doing it in sections in this first part back here, which was the, you know, uh, I don't want to say nappiest part, but that's what it was. Um, I started there and I had gotten maybe two parts in and I thought, how am I going to get through my entire head in 20, 25 minutes or whatever the processing time was? So I definitely know I went over that because I couldn't, um, couldn't hardly part my hair. So I'm going to have to think about some things for the next time, um, how I might make that easier. I don't know if detangling, um, thoroughly detangling a couple days before, you know, and then going in. Um, once my scalp has had a chance to rest, um, would work, but anyways, um, <laughs> I did my thing I was talking about, I think on my last relaxer video where I measure from here all the way down the back and I got 24 inches. So, <laughs> you know, the last time I was 23 inches, so that means in almost three months my hair grew an inch, which is like... You know the distance from here here to here that's a little <laughs> I mean and that's just in one spot of my head you know I don't know if maybe on the sides there was more growth or whatever but um, I'll have to go back and look at my last relaxer video compared to this one to maybe get a better idea of the progress because like I said just looking in the mirror I don't see anything drastic but you know who knows um, so I didn't make a update video for October since my relaxer was going to be so close to that date anyways And there wasn't a real whole lot new. I am sweating Woo. Um, There wasn't a whole lot that was new to share anyways um, So I'm going to talk about some products that I had already talked about um, one being the Shea Moisture Shampoo I did get a chance to try it and I really really do like this. It leaves my new growth extremely soft and um manageable yeah it really does I really like this um the reason why I paused is because I'm thinking well I just said I couldn't hardly part my hair but last week I tried to dye my hair and do a protein treatment at the same time and when I tell you my hair locked up on me <laughs> it was bad so I that this wasn't even used last week but when you know the previous weeks when I had used it I really did like it so this will be good. I like this. Um, the Garnier Fructis, I had bought this the last um, video or so that I had made. And um, I know that it adds a little bit of shine on the top of my hair when I'm pulling it back for a ponytail or a bun or whatever. But my intention with this was to use it as something I could spray on my new growth to keep it moisturized. And that I'm not sure that it does. I'm really not sure that it does. And let's see here. These, okay, well, this product is new, the Caracare Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. And um, the only reason why I decided to buy this is because I was going to JCPenney some, for some more of my Caracare um, leave-in conditioner, and they were having a clearance, and these were in like a gift pack together, the Humecto, which you know I love, um, was in a package with this for guess how much together. $11.50 on clearance. Hello? <laughs> the Humecto by itself costs like $13.50, so I had to get this. And what I can say about the shampoo is it's, it's pretty good, you know. It, I like it. 
Um, I used it today. And lastly, um, this is just a sample size of the Paul Mitchell, what is it called, Super Skinny Serum. I think this was like $5.50 at Ulta. So, yeah, I picked that up and I used it for the first time today. And, um, you know, it's cool. Uh, I don't see it being anything more special than my Fantasia ICE or any of the other ones. Um, so would I go out and buy the big one of this? Probably not. It has an interesting smell. I don't know what it is. The watermelons or something? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's not reason enough for me to spend a lot of money on it. So that's it. I know, shocking. Um, Ulta's having a buy two, get one free sale of the, what is it? Ultra Hydrating Balm by uh, Biologe. So I plan to pick some of that up before that sells over um, to replenish my stock. But um, yeah, I know I'm probably forgetting something, but I really don't know what else to say. I'm going to turn around and show you the length. And um, yeah, uh, let me try to do this. You know, it's always interesting to show the back, but... Um, here we are on the side today. I try to stay paused long enough so you can see because I seem to whip around pretty fast normally. So that's one side. And the back. Let's see here. Just want to make sure that I'm combing it and showing it accurately. So that's the back. And I'm actually going to scoot up a little bit and touch where my bra strap is. So my bra strap is right, the top of my bra strap is right there. So if I really wanted to say, you know, my longest parts of my hair right here are touching the top of my bra strap, but I ain't going there. And I hope I didn't just show my ashy little knee there, but that's the other side. Flank. So that is my life today and um, so I think this should be my last relaxer for the year uh, mm, yeah should be and with the next one being probably early January so I think that's it I know I've said that ten times but it, yeah that's about it. Oh, I know what I've been thinking I wanted to say is I have on this peach color and red shirt and like tons of my videos. I also have a yellow one just like it. Um, I use them to perm my hair in. <laughs> so I do own more than these three shirts. Just FYI, I put them on because I don't care if I get perm and stuff, you know, on them. Anyways, that's it. See you next time.